Hello, this is Mike Balzer, founder of Neodio, and this is my GVR graveyard, which is made for both the Android uh, Google VR cardboard as well as iOS, and if things work out for the Gear VR as well as a non VR version for the iPhone uh, Android devices as well as the iPad and Android tablet. So, before we get started, the rules or the object of the game are very simple. You have to pick five ripe pumpkins throughout the graveyard and bring them back into the uh, game to this cart right here off to your left. And uh, this works with a Bluetooth gamepad as well as touch control. I'm using my uh, Neody VR Uplay, uh, which is a kind of like a eyeglass system. Um, for your phone, as well as my head bracket, uh, which is a semi-rigid elastic band uh, to support it, so it kind of drapes in front of you. Very lightweight, very comfortable, um, and more importantly, very pocketable. So essentially, you can throw the whole thing in a large pocket, or just the viewer, like cardboard, into your shirt pocket. So I know there's a couple other devices, but it's extremely high immersion. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to kind of go through the game. So let's go ahead and grab one of the pumpkins. So we're going to actually go through the gates here. So if you notice, there's one of our characters right now that's Gary the Ghoul. And he has a very slow, methodical pace. But if you hang around, let's see, we'll just go. Ahead. We're not going to let him do it. But if you hang around, he will attack you, and you have about three to four seconds, and then the whole game will reset. So here we go, putting back our first pumpkin into the cart. It's there. And uh, I didn't want to create any counting system or a 2D user interface. I wanted all the interaction to take place in the game. And, I, and it's best to be standing up or in a swivel chair, which I'm not because of my microphone. So up oh, there is another ghoul, and there is a few ghouls. Uh, there are ghosts. Uh, there's something I call the drumped troll, uh, as well as some dire wolves. There's another pumpkin, and the pumpkins stand out because um, because they're ripe. They're orange, and a lot of the pumpkins are not. Now I'm going to go ahead and move backwards because of my limited mobility, but obviously with many VR ass. Um, probably run into the other ghoul here in a moment. So let me look around. Where is he at? I don't see him anywhere. Okay, so there's my cart. And let me go ahead and throw the second one there. So as mentioned, I didn't want to use a graphic or a 2D user interface uh, to keep score. I wanted to physically show the pumpkins as they were added to the cart. Um, I also wanted my characters uh, through some basic um, follow AI to come after you once you go into their trigger zones and which there's one who's kind of trapped behind the gate there but obviously since I moved he's aware of it and if I hang out here um, he will come after me so I'm gonna go find another pumpkin now the pass or the location of all there's the other goal so we'll kind of stay out of his path so as long as you don't allow these uh, ghouls, ghosts, uh, some ghosts, and other characters to touch you, uh, you'll be okay. Uh, they don't immediately cause you to end the game. It takes about two to three seconds, depending on the character. There is one character um, up in the hills there, my pack of dire wolves that if you alert them and they come after you and they're fairly quick. If they catch you, you are terminated immediately. And the game starts over and you lose all track of your pumpkins. But here we go, here's another one. So I'll go ahead and pick it up. And if you notice, every time I pick up a pumpkin, it uh, attaches up. There's another ghost, but we want to get out of it. Uh, the ghost is kind of unique. If it grabs you, uh, it literally throws you up in the air and kind of immobilizes you and you essentially have to use a jump key in order to navigate. So uh, the other thing, if you notice, the pumpkin appears like it's being uh, held in your hands. 
and uh, will rotate with your head movement. So here we go, we're going to go ahead and throw this one in the cart. Now, that's the call. Go behind and throw it, me, throw it in there. And uh, like I said, you can count the number of pumpkins that you have. So we now should have... So I'm going to go ahead and stop the game here, but I will let you know there is kind of a special surprise. Oh, I got caught. And because of my talking, as you notice, the game has reset. And so we're finished. So more than likely, um, because I couldn't hear the game, um, the particular ghoul had attacked me for at least three seconds and terminated the game. So if you're aware of what's going on, it's really easy to avoid them and track them down. Uh, so we track them down and yeah, it's kind of fun, but more importantly, as you get towards, uh, once you get the five pumpkins, all of the characters in the game disappear except two, and again, one of them's a surprise uh, with this nice little audio track that I think uh, some of our audience will appreciate, and, uh, but more importantly, the ghouls, the ghosts, and the wolves disappear, which then allow you to kind of walk around and enjoy the, the environment. So it's not a long game, but I don't expect to charge more than a dollar for it. But it's kind of like a capture the flag, but in this case, capture the pumpkins and avoiding being attacked by some of the graveyard meanies and, and terminating the game. So that's about the extent of it. Very simple, um, but kind of fun, in my opinion, uh, and easy to use by pretty much anybody. And again, I didn't want to create a user interface uh, that blatantly identifies everything in a 2D. I wanted everything to be introduced within the game itself. Um, this is close to the finished product, a few more tweaks in it, but I thought you might enjoy it. So, thank you.